Well, thank you very much for coming to the Water Cube. Can you very quickly introduce yourself? Thank you. I am Ogunladi Davidson, Minister of Energy and Water Resources, Sierra Leone. Okay. Well, what brings you to the World Water Week? Well, it's because um, we were invited to the African Councils of Ministers of Water, and then I managed to get UNICEF to pay my way to come here. Okay. Great. And now, uh, what is AMCAO, the African Council of Ministers of Water, um, doing uh, well, this year? Yeah, well, the point is, the one, if you understand the African setting, is Africa is made up of very much fragmented countries. So we can only have the impact that we would like to, to get through a collective mechanism. And therefore, you find out that in many areas, African countries try to collaborate to form a mechanism of putting across their points or to carry out their development. In fact, if you look at the history of Africa, you can clearly tell you that Africans would only develop if they prepare to learn from each other. Mm. Because you cannot get all what is good in one country and all what is bad in another country. Mm. It doesn't work that way. The, the only way you can do it is through collective mechanism. And lastly, the world we live in today, if you are very small, either in population or in terms of economy, you can e easily be passed by. You need a very strong collective mechanism for you to put your course across. So you find out that the African Council of Ministers of Water is one such collective mechanism of African ministers to put forward their points through a political platform. Okay, and what are what are, do you have any examples of uh, where you know this platform has yielded some fruit for water and sanitation in Sierra Leone, for example? No, it has because, for, for example, it is now been understood between many many ministers of water that we need to get pipe borne safe drinking water to every member of the population. There are several innovative ways of doing that. That way you, you do it through cross-learning. Learning one, one country and do the other because it's a very expensive process. So you can minimize your losses. Also, you, you, you have a lot of programs based on dug up wells and things like that. And these you can learn from your colleagues to know that how, first of all, do I locate my groundwater? Mm. How would I locate dry wells? Mm. How do I put guidelines to make sure that I don't start spending so much time on an area that the, the well will get dry up in a very short time? Mm. So this is, these are some of the things that one can get through the AMCAO discussion. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, too.